Nathan Ellington put Rovers level at four all in the dying minutes. Only for Lo Robbie Pethick having probably his best game for Rovers, then picked out Nathan Ellington, who outfoxed two Oxford defenders before curling a beauty into the corner of the net. 4-0. What a shot! That deserved a goal every minute of the way, Mark! The takes the corner. Chilson's header, and there it is, 1 0, Mark! Great goal, Nathan Ellington with his fourth goal of the season. Engineered by Hillier and Tilson. And that, that combination from corners has been fantastic for Ravers this season. And Nathan Ellington fully justified Ian Holloway's decision to keep him in the side tonight. Well, we were just saying that, Mark, weren't we? And there he is. Really for Rovers on the edge of the box with Roberts and now Ellington fires in the shot and it's off the post. He needs to be aware of leaving some gaps at the back as they push forward and search for three vital points. Skins off the head of Jamie Bates on this occasion. It's dropped for uh, Ellington and uh, this is I was saying. Wickham have been the only team looking to score in this second half. One chance drops to Nathan Ellington from Curitan. And a strong finish by the youngster gives Crystal Rovers the lead. No booking. Colin Howlett thinks the referee can't write. He could be right. In the end, it's, I think it's Ellington of Bristol Rovers who, who brings them back into the game and manages to get them a point. It's a great run by, by his strike partner. Um, down the side and, and finishes from an acute angle. Uh, crowd trouble. Market. And it didn't improve. Just over half an hour gone, and Nathan Ellington allowed free reign down the left flank to double the lead. Who says they'll miss Jason Roberts and Jamie Curitan? The match was effectively over six minutes before half time. Lewis Hogg shot too hot for Icelandic keeper Oli got scalped. Don't think Culkin had much hope from that sort of range. But here's a chance for Rovers straight away. Ellington! Would you believe it? He waited so long for a goal. And then we get two in less than a minute. What a finish, Mark. Well, we had it all to do and we've done it. So again, we're, you know, we're, we're a goal in front. Now we need to keep the momentum going. It was a good goal. Plymouth just went to sleep momentarily and Nathan luckily was there. Put them ahead. Ellington prospering after an earlier penalty miss, thanks to Mickey Evans. But a last-minute incident involving the gentleman's agreement... ...as he pushed forward to Ellis. This is Astavievs. First time ball finds Mark Walters. And still Walters. Good-looking ball, 2-0! Nathan Ellington, the scorer! He hasn't scored since September the 9th. He looked a little bit down on confidence. But when you get a ball like that from Mark Walters, it really is easy to score. Goal number five for Ellington. And Rovers, after a nervous period in which Luton had three good chances, 